Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, Math 060, Topics in Developmental Mathematics, Section 4.6, Problem 19. This is Section 4.6, Problem 19. It says 40 is 250% of what number? And a very common question people ask, can you really have more than 100%? And yes, absolutely you can. So if 40 is more than 200% of a number, it's the number we're finding must be quite a bit less than 40. Because 40 is 100% of 40, so it's 250% of something less. So what we want to do is make sure that the question is in the form A is P percent of B. And it is. If it isn't, we have to rearrange it. But it is in that form. A is P percent of some number, B. So now that we know we have it in that form, we will use the formula A over B equals P over 100. And what I always say is you fill it in just going around the circle. Start with the A. A is P percent of B. You just start at A, go around the circle, come back. It fills in pretty easily. So let's do that. A, the first thing is the 40 is, that's my equals, 250 percent. So 250 is the numerator, and percent automatically goes in as 100. Of will bring me back under the 40. What number is the unknown? So I put B. Now, I can cross multiply right now and divide. I can reduce somewhat. I can at least chop a zero off the end. And again, technically, I'm dividing 10 into the numerator and also dividing 10 into the denominator. So it becomes 25 over 10. And I can reduce that even a little bit more. They both reduce so nicely by 5. 25 divided by 5 is 5. 10 divided by 5 is 2. So let's rewrite it as 40 over b equals 5 over 2. So now I will cross multiply and divide. b times 5 will be 5b equals 40 times 2. So 5b equals 40 times 2 is 80. Divide the 5. Now, you may be able to do that easily in your head. I actually know the answer is 16. Let's say you don't. Um, if your teacher will allow you to use a calculator for class, you do the numerator of 80 divided by the denominator of 5 equals, and the calculator will tell you right away that it's 16. If you can't use a calculator for the class, do it the old-fashioned way. So the numerator goes under your division symbol. The number in the denominator goes in front of the division symbol, and you just divide it. 5 divides into 8, it will fit. It'll only go once. 1 times 5 is 5. 8 minus 5 is 3. Bring down the next digit, which is a 0. Put it next to the 3. 3 with a 0 after it is 30. 5 times something is 30. Well, times 6 fits exactly. 6 times 5 is 30. 30 minus 30 is 0. Goes in evenly, no remainder. And as I predicted, the answer really is 16. And again, what does that mean? 40 is 250% of what number? 40 is 250% of 16.